I'm going to explain to you how the stronghold system works in Lost Ark. I'm going to try to make this clear and concise as best as I can. I know, know there's a lot of guys out there that are like an hour long and you're still confused. I'm going to do my best to try to get this in one go. You'll understand. You can just move on. You know how it all works. All right. So around level 25, you'll unlock the stronghold. First big question a lot of people have, myself included, was how the hell do I get there once I leave the first time? You're going to hit F2 to open up your sheet music. Alternatively, you can go to Adventure Sheet Music if you don't want to press F2. Or if you have to F in F2 thing, you don't know how to do that. All right, so in here, once you've gotten the stronghold you've been to, you'll know because the main story will force you to go to it. Uh, you'll have this song called Song of Hearth and Home, which if you play it, it'll move you to your stronghold, which on the map, this is, this is your stronghold, the map of the stronghold. Once you're here, there's a bunch of things to do. The biggest thing you're gonna need to know is down at the very bottom left, there's this icon. You can press control one or you just click this icon called management which will bring up this screen. Now, this is something you're going to be seeing a lot for the rest of your life playing this game. So here's how you can access quickly the lab, the workshop, the station, the manor, eventually the training camp, and knowledge transfer, which we'll get to later in this video. I'm going to try not to overwhelm you. We've got to do one thing at a time here. All right. So the biggest thing that you're going to need to do first is we got the lab. Now, the lab is just researching things. If you've ever played like mobile games, or tribal wars or one of those games where you research things and it's like oh this takes eight hours oh this takes 32 hours whatever uh you're going to go in here to research new things now, i've already researched a lot i can't show you some of the stuff but like you can level up the workshop you can level up the station uh you can just level up things in here right now the lab is level two eventually i will get the option to research lab level three which i think was a stronghold level 10 is why i don't have an unlock i don't remember the exact condition for the lab level three anymore but uh yeah, so you'll level things up in here. And while we're in this, let me go ahead and explain something. Uh, these cost materials. So, you know, if I want to research this, it's going to cost you eight iron ore, eight timber, or this one is four iron ore, four timber. This one's 24, eight, you know, whatever. You'll also see right here, here, how long it takes to do it. And why is that important? Well, because if you look, if you do it right, you can plan out your day. So while you're online, you're going to want to do ones that are shorter, like three hours, uh, 53 minutes. You're going to do these ones when you are online still. So that way you can just start one, go play the game. When it's done, uh, play the song, get back to the stronghold and start a new one. But then when say you're about to go to bed or maybe you're about to take a break for five hours. Well, like, okay, you think I'm going to go to a friend's house. I'll be back in four hours. Okay, well, then we'll do the four hour one. Or if you're like, I'm done for the day, I won't be on until tomorrow. Then do one of the really long ones, like the 21 hour one, or a seven hour one, or a 12 hour one if you have one. So you try to plan this out in order to min max it so you can get it done faster if you want. Or you just be you know, casual and just do them literally just randomly and whatever, and get, you'll get there someday. But if you're trying to speed it up, you're gonna try to min max it like that. So that's the lab in a nutshell. Now we can move on to the next thing, hopefully. Hopefully we have a good understanding of that. Uh, some of the things you'll research, though, crafting recipes. You'll craft, you'll like unlock crafting recipes in here. Once you unlock these, you'll need to go over to the workshop in order to craft these. So over at the workshop, here's where you can craft stuff. Uh, later on, you'll get additional slots. So I have a workshop level two. I have two crafting slots right here. So I can have two things going at a time. Now, in order to craft, I would go through here and I would pick something like a flare and it'll tell me what I need to make it. 20 natural pearls, 35 wild flowers, and then it will also cost me 1,200 silver. It'll also require stronghold energy, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay, we'll get to that. It also only takes eight seconds for one of these, but I'm gonna make one of these just to show you. So I pop this onto craft, and it has to finish now. While that's crafting, I can go to my other slot if I have it unlocked. You won't have two slots at first, but it doesn't take very long to get two. I could go here. I could craft something else at the same time. Um, if I wanted to. Two things going at a time, and then three eventually. So we go back to this, claim it. Now I have three flares. I just made three. Now a lot of these things take longer, like, you know, an hour, 26 minutes, eight seconds. Uh, so, yeah, here's like the basics. But there are also the tabs up here if to help you organize it. And also I think you actually have to go through the tabs. It doesn't show it all here. So we're actually in battle items right now, even though it doesn't say that. Go to cooking. Here's the cooking things I have unlocked. You can go in here and, and cook these, you know. Uh, plus 500 strength, dex, intelligence, plus 1500 vitality, uh, plus 500 strength, dex, int, combat resource, natural recovery, plus 8%, blah, blah, blah. Structure, these are things that you can physically actually place in your, um, 
on the island, like actual decorations. And uh, some of them, like this one, you can actually equip them in the manor, which we'll get to in a minute, and they'll do things for you. Like this one, research, action, energy, consumption, minus 1%. So when you research, it uses 1% less action energy or stronghold energy or whatever. Uh, some of these are just purely decorative, though. And you'll see down here what it costs to craft. It also costs gold. So you gotta be careful not to throw your gold away when crafting these things. Um, and then we go to tools. You can craft tools for yourself. You gotta get apprentice crafting kits and tool crafting parts and all this in order to craft for yourself. We have special. This is where you can get weird ones like the Northvern archaeological site map and other random stuff you'll unlock in there. We got the farm, which uh, you can do ship parts here, tools, uh, tool crafting part chest. You know, you get the point. This is, this is how you look through the different things. If you're looking for something specific that you know you have unlocked but can't find it, you can search in here for, like, uh, you know, battle item, o HP potion, whatever. HP potion selection chest. I was actually looking for... Uh, I have to hit X on that. Elemental HP potion, which... I guess it can only search inside the same tab, can't it? Yeah, you have, it can only search inside the same tab. So, you, like, when you're searching, it's in the tab you're in. So, if you try to use this and you're cooking and you're looking for a battle item, you can't find it unless you're in the battle tab. All right, so this is crafting. Uh, some of these things are tradable, although good luck making money on them. <laughs> it's not not really practical for most of these. Um, but yeah, those a lot of these are tradable. You can see when you mouse over it. You can also craft more than one at a time, which will increase the cost. And if you have money to spend, you can get Stronghold XP doing this. It's not the most efficient way, but you could sit here and just grind out items, but, you know, buy mats and grind out items in order to get um, Stronghold XP and use up your energy, but again, not really practical necessarily. So that's the workshop. So now we got the lab workshop covered. All right, there's still so much more to the stronghold. I'm gonna try to get through this one step at a time so that you'll understand by the end of this video. So the station. Station's extremely important. Go to the station. You can send out a boat on missions in order to get you seals and other valuable items. I already sent one on this mission which was a 12 hour mission. You'll see here how long the missions are. Eight hours, four hours, 12, one day. Generally, you're gonna do one of two things here. Are you gonna be on for more than four hours? Then you're gonna wanna send your crew on a four hour uh, mission. If you're gonna be on for eight hours, you could also do an eight hour. If you're gonna be on for 12 hours, you could do a 12 hour. If you're about to go to bed and you're not gonna be on again for eight to 12 hours, that would be the time to throw on a 12 hour one. Now, the other thing you would do is you know, you get on first thing in the day and you go, all right, I'm going to do the one day thing. And then tomorrow when I first get on, it'll be time to do a new one. Also, don't forget there's a second page here. You, sometimes you can go down here and see another page. There's more than the first page. Uh, each one of these will give different rewards. You can see what the re expected rewards are going to be. Uh, you don't always get the last thing and the amount you get varies depending on a lot of factors. So uh, really fast, let me complete this so I can show you. So mission results. Let's see what I got from the 12 hour one. I got 390 raid seals, 98 pirate coins, 6,240 stronghold XP. This is one of the best ways to get stronghold XP passively. And then 520 providence stones. All right, cool. So now I want to send my crew on another mission. So probably a four hour one. And if I'm looking at all these, uh, these major ones generally give you more bang for your buck than the ones down here. Because you'll see here, uh, eight hours and you'll get 195 or more adventure seals. This one's also eight hours and it gives 255 or more. So if you can, you want to do the major ones first, but only if it actually lines up with your goals and what you want. Okay. So to send one of these out, you're going to go over here to crew formation. You can pick the crew yourself. You pick a pet and you pick a crew. You can unlock more crew slots later on. Uh, once you research them, like right here, a cup of rum. I need a cup of rum researched. If I go back to the lab, here it is. I unlocked this recently as a thing that I can research, but it takes 21 hours. So, and I need 4,000 pirate coins. So I'm, I'm kind of putting that off right now. I'm, I'm not in the mood to do that one right now, but eventually I'll, I'll get that. And once I get that, I'll have this third slot. All right, so that's how you can get these last slots unlocked. But now let's get to the actual thing, okay? So generally, unless you really, really know what you're doing here, you're just gonna hit auto formation. It'll pick the characters that are the best for this mission. And uh, the percent, the higher the percent, the better they're suited for it. And the better they're suited for it, the better your chance of getting the good rewards. Now, in this case, I actually don't have any crew that are good against these hardships, wind and thorn. And my pet isn't either. I have people who are good against ice and earthquake. 
If I go to one of these other missions, if I can find one that has those uh, problems. Uh, apparently, there's not a single mission in here that has ice or earthquake, actually. So, I can't show you what this looks like. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. But you'll see the icons here. And if there was one that I could show you. Um, oh, here we go. My uh, my pet has fire. So, this one's a better chance. It has 12% adaptation. Brings the total to 14. Just makes me more likely to get better rewards. Okay. So, you might want to take that into account when you're doing it. In my case right now, I don't really care. I'm just going to send up these ones, whatever. And I just want to have these guys going at all times. So, I'm just going to send them on this one. Because so, I'm going to be on for more than four hours. I'll probably do this. And then, if there's another four hours, which there's not. Uh, this would be another thing to consider. What time is it? I gotta look at my real life time. It's 3 p.m. for me. So, what's 3 plus 8? Okay, it'll be 11, 12. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the four hour one. I don't want to have to stay up till 11.30 just to... Actually, no, I can. Because I have the Crystalline Aura. Here's another thing to think about. Crystalline Aura takes dispatch time off by 10%. So, this is eight hour ones. Actually, only seven hours. So, I actually have time. That'll be about 10.30 or so when this is done, which is before I go to bed. So I'd actually be better suited to send my people on the uh, eight-hour one. Now, I should put the ca uh, my cat in there. It would be the smart thing to do and then me just use the bunny for the actual running around. But I have some kind of emotional connection to the cat. So I'm not going to do it even though this is a stupid thing to do. Do not do what I'm doing. Uh, I need to right-click him. To you can right-click to remove, by the way. Put him on. Right-click to put him on. Right-click to remove. You know, right click again, right click. Okay. Also, your ship will slowly lose durability from doing these, and you'll have to repair it. This will require these materials. Now, this might look confusing, but it's actually a one or the other thing. Don't denotive, whatever, marked by these check marks. Um, you could use hardwood, crude iron ore, but in this case, I can only get timber and iron ore. Hardwood and crude iron ore, to the best of my knowledge, are actually obtained from this stronghold on a place called the farm. Which you'll unlock later on, which we'll get to later in this obnoxiously long tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to just repair mine with timber and iron ore real fast, though. Alright, I repaired it. I didn't need to do it right now, but I did. Also, if you have other ships, you can hit the left and the right arrows right here to go through them. Or ship list. Uh, one's already in a mission, so I can't go to it. But you could use arrows or go ship list. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, enough dragging my feet on this one. This one's done. Hopefully you understand this one, okay? That's how long it's going to take. The adaptation... That's how much more likely you are to get these rare things, especially this rare item, the Beast Heart in this case. It uses 2,000 action, 2000 action energy, which you can see at the bottom. I have 14,000 left today. Uh, it increases over time and uh, was 110 per hour, I think. It's about 4,000 per day or something. I don't, know, not, I don't know, whatever it is. It's, it's probably the same as trade skills. It's probably 4,000 per day. So it's not 110 per hour. It's like 110 per 36 minutes or something like that. It's about 4,000 per hour is what I assume. Okay. So, mission start. We're going to go ahead and do that. And that one will be done in seven hours. So, I would check back in seven hours and then collect it just like I did earlier. But now, let's look at this other tab. Special missions. You'll unlock this later on. And what this is, is you can send your crew to go do those dailies that you have. Chaos Dungeons, Guardian Rage, etc. And they'll do them for you. Now, this will use up your uh, aura of resonance or whatever it's called. Uh, like, so, you know, you go... Chaos Dungeons. You do Chaos Dungeons. You, two times a day, you get all the good rewards. After that, you get the crappier rewards. This will count towards that. What this is really for, more than anything, this is for uh, gaining Stronghold XP, and la like later on, it's if you're too lazy to go do your dailies, and you're like, I don't even want to do my dailies. I'm just going to send my special mission people to go do it for my Stronghold, and then I don't even have to go do it. Now, right now, that might sound crazy because you're like, well, the dailies are fun. Well, you know, four months from now, you're probably not going to be having fun doing the dailies anymore. So it's going to be pretty tempting to send your crew to do them for you. So that's generally what this is for. Also, one other thing I should mention while I'm in here, and I should go back to some of the other stuff to show you this too. Any of the stuff, the lab, the workshop, whatever. If you want to spend crystals, you can hit complete now. and It'll tell you how many crystals it will take to complete it now. Uh, you can only do this so many times in a day, though. But I could spend 53 and just insta-complete this. You also have time reduction, which is used with these dispatch acceleration chips. And I think for research, it's a different item, actually. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to close the whole list. Uh, yeah, I think it might be a different item for this one. But it's same kind of thing. Hold on. I got a research done. Complete research. Okay, look, that's what it's like to complete a research. 
Uh, I'm gonna put time stop on so I can just check this real fast. Time reduction. Yeah, research acceleration chip. So there's a different chip for each one. You could also accelerate it that way. Make it go faster. I actually forget how much it does it. Um, oh, it shortens it by an hour. So you just do, decrease it by an hour for everyone you use. All right, that's, I think that's everything with these three things. Let's move on. There's so much more to the stronghold, guys. It's just so much to take in. Hopefully I understand these three. Now I did my best to explain those ones. Let's go to the manor. The manor was where you equip those things that you craft. The manor's gonna be a pretty short thing. I don't have a lot to say here. Uh, those, like I showed you in the workshop, I could go to structure. I could make the Reth Rethramus style small fountain. Then I could go to the manor. I could equip it in this blue slot and it would give me that small bonus, okay? Uh, that's how that's gonna work. Also, you can check your unlockables. I don't have these unlocked yet and we'll get to these in just a moment. We're almost to that point of the video. Uh, but you can check the status of these. So that's the manor. That's all you need about that. Oh my goodness. Now, the other thing that you're going to need to hop onto when you first get here is you are going to want to go to the quest in here. Um, you'll open the map and just see if there's any blue icons. If you can't find them, check your quest journal down here under Adventure, and there will be Stronghold missions. You'll find blue ones that actually have the title Stronghold like this. You want to do these missions uh, if you want to be, you know, get your Stronghold done. These missions are what are required to unlock some of the other areas, like this island over here, this uh, this right here, this right here, the farm and cave manager. I mean, you'll get more places to put items. You'll get a farm um, and different things like that. Later on, there will be a farm, and at that farm, there will be materials like that crude iron ore, that timber, all that stuff. Those two things I was showing you that were, like, different than your normal timber and all that. Uh, it was hardwood, I think. It was hardwood and crude iron ore. Uh, you'll get those from your farm. Now, the farm's got a weird system. The farm that you'll get later on is its own trade skills, its own gathering, whatever. And what they will do is they will basically be an avenue for you to throw away your work energy. They'll be bound to you, so you can't even sell them either. They're only for crafting things at the stronghold. But the reason you would want to do this is because later on, you may get burnt out on using your work energy every day. If you look at the bottom... Uh, work energy, okay, you know, the gathering stuff. Now, in the beginning, for some of you, like, oh, well, gathering's fun, right? Well, you know, a year from now, you might not be thinking gathering's fun anymore, but you don't want your work energy to just cap and just be wasting all the time. So you'll go to your farm, it'll use it up way faster, and you can just burn through your work energy so you're not just wasting it and just get it over with and save yourself real life time instead of going out and gathering. So that's generally the purpose of that. That's like, that's, that's like the main, main purpose of that one. Also, later on, when you hit level 52, you'll unlock a training room, which will let you pick another character, and it'll passively be leveling them up all the time. until, And it'll let them go all the way to two levels below your main character. So if your main character is level 60, it'll let you passively level up another character all the way to level 58. Or if your character is 52, it'll level them all the way to 50. So you can do that to passively bring other characters up to 50. There's also this other building. I, I actually forget the name of the thing offhand. Uh, but it will let you pay 600 gold to instantly level a character up to level 50. So those are things you'll get later on. Uh, most of these things you'll get from doing those stronghold quests. So I have those stronghold quests right now. I need to go... Uh, like right now I have one. I need to just do three dispatch missions. That one will get done eventually. Uh, the main one here, I have this one. I need, right now I need, to go, I need to go see King Thrain and Lutera Castle and all that. You're just going to keep on doing that one. Uh, some of them will ask you to place things. So let's go ahead to this next part of the stronghold. Placing items and decorating. So let's zoom this out. Down here, the second one is called placement. So placement will let you see all your furniture in these different tabs. And then uh, you can dr uh, you can click it and then move where you want. Click it again to place it. You can rotate it with Q and E or by clicking these. Or you can hit this and then it'll rotate it by smaller degrees so you can get it exactly how you want. And then when you're done, you're just going to click off of it. It's ready. Uh, there's also characters, which I already had placed mine. You can move with WSAD keys, by the way. WSAD keys is how you move the camera. i to zoom in. I already placed my characters. Uh, you can actually place your six character up to six characters in here, wherever you want. And it gets real weird. So uh, before I do that, though, on the right, you'll see each section of the island. So if I go over to uh, Lab Island... I can put stuff over here. It has its own item points. Same for small island. Go back to main island. Uh, all these things that I place use up item points. There's a maximum number of items you can put. 
I assume they do this to make sure you don't just fill it with crazy items and make the game crash. So, um, right now, that thing used four. If I go over to the furniture, I place this chair. That used two, now I'm at six. That used one, now I'm at seven. That added another one. That added another one, I'm at nine now. Same thing with the characters. The characters, these ones used five. You'll also get report characters, so when you do that, you'll be able to get those guys to place. I'll be able to place them around and just decorate. When you're done, uh, you can either hit this button to retrieve everything, or you hit apply, and it'll save. And I can show you the weird thing, right? So, so I can stand next to myself, which is really, really weird. So there's me, and there's me. So, well, you, know, you can just decorate. It's decorating. Some of the quests for this place will tell you to uh, decorate this place. So that's how you're going to do the decoration. We also have the wardrobe section, where you can change how these characters look after you place them. Uh, not all characters have outfits. And, uh, big scam. Samly the polar bear doesn't have another outfit. Big scam. But yeah, so this is how you can change the look of some of these characters if you want to spend crystals to do so. You can make them look totally different when you decorate with them. So that is the placement tab. Uh, you can also view far at any time to, you know, look from far away while running around to get a better view of things. And later on, those, uh, the camp that I talked about and the knowledge transfer thing, they're both going to be, you know, you down at the bottom, you click the management to get back to this. The, the tabs are right there from the beginning. Uh, it even says there, you may proceed with the quest upon reaching combat level 52. Knowledge transfer when nothing is impossible for Psykins is completed. So those are things you'll do later on. I think that one is actually part of the main story in order to get that one unlocked. So... That's how all that's going to work. Also over here is the storage keep. You can access your storage from here if you need to, if you don't have a pet. Because you know your pet will actually let you do stuff, let you access storage remotely if you have Crystalline Aura. So um, that's the bulk of all that. We also have a repair guy. We have this over here, the structure exchange. You can convert raid seals, victory seals, and adventure seals into random furniture. I would not recommend unless you're really into decorating, but you can, you can do this. It is a thing that you can do. Um, so that's one way to spend those. Which then brings us to the next thing, which is those seals that I talked about. If any of you close against trip me out. All right, so go down here. This is one of the most important parts of the whole place, right where you see me on the map. We got a few characters here. We have, um, very often you'll have a trade merchant here. He will let you buy wow. some random stuff. Nice uh, he has a sale here. limit, Our and nice you'll sometimes too. see stuff on here, like a Take secret a map that costs 130,000. You can uh, turn those items that you get. If you do get the rare item from the dispatch, you can convert it over into raid seals. Uh, not very many, though, but, you know, per, at least. Uh, buy blueprints for things, uh, uncommon card pack, guineas coin, etc. A crew application. This is another way to get more crew, by the way. Which is something I really should have touched on in the last part. Uh, you can get more crew... Um, from here. Although I think this crew is... No, I think that also applies to the one. Either way, you'll get more stuff for the crew and all that in different merchants and different places like that. And when you see one and you can pick it up, you'll pick it up. It'll give you more crew ma mates so that you can do more dispatches. So that guy, he wanted... What was it specifically, this guy? Let's see. He wanted wow. raid seals, nice right? Well, here. say I don't nice have too. enough raid seals. Alright. And I have some of the other ones, though. You can convert them. There's a person over here, the Special Exchange, and Raid Seals could be converted to Victory Seals or Adventure Seals, but at a loss, 100 turns into 65. You go to this tab, you can do Victory Seals into the others, and you can do Adventure Seals into the others. So you can go to any of these tabs and convert these over like that. That will allow you to get whatever amount you want of whatever seal you want in order to buy from that or anything else in the game that uses these. So that's something you need to know about, very helpful for that. We also have the crafting recipe exchange where you can convert uh, different seals into different crafting recipes. These crafting recipes will be used at your workshop. So you can go ahead and buy some in here if you want to, if there's something you really want in here. Like the trade skill restoration kit or tool crafting part. Um, that is where you can buy some of these things. And then we also have this guy, the roster resource exchange. You can go in here and you can convert materials. Like, you can turn heavy iron ore into iron ore, um, but it costs 25 in order to make 50. So, it's kind of a weird conversion. Basically, it takes five full stacks of heavy iron ore to make one stack of iron ore, or it'll take uh, two stacks of the blue ore 
to make one stack of the normal ore. Same thing for the timber. Also, you have trade skill powder. You can convert your uh, white and green mats into these powders on this tab. Um, 100 of, of basic, basically one stack of the gray or five stacks of the green to go make 80 of these powders. There's powders for every one of the professions. And then you can go into the use trade skill powder tab to take these powders and convert them into the greens or the blues of any of these professions. So if you need to just convert around materials, you have too much of one and you need more of the other, you can do them in here. It's a pretty helpful place, pretty helpful thing that you can do here. All right, I know this video is dragging on and on, but there's just so much. We got one last thing, one last thing, and then I think I've covered it all. So there's this right here is today's feast menu. You will unlock this at stronghold level 10. I only have stronghold level seven. I can't go to it yet. But what this will be is you can get buffs from this. You can use certain foods and it'll give you buffs that persist outside of the stronghold. So if you're going to go run chaos dungeons, if you're going to go run abyss raids or whatever, you're going to run all that stuff, or you're going to do something that's tough in the game, PvE or whatever, then you're going to want to go and use these buffs before you go because they'll make it obviously easier. It's just buffs, free buffs. So, well, might have a cost, but you know, buffs that you can get here. So that is what that is. If you saw that sign or didn't know what it was, that's what it is once you get stronghold level 10. That's what that'll do for you. And whenever you want to leave, I guess this is the real last thing, open your map and right click. It'll show you the last place you were at before you came here. This is how you escape the stronghold. I should have said this in the beginning, to be honest with you. I couldn't figure this out for the longest time. Uh, so when you want to get out of the stronghold, uh, you could also go to this portal but it saves you a lot of time if you just right click on the map and then you go to wherever you previously were and then you'll play your song of Triport and you'll get out of there. So that is how you're going to escape your stronghold once you're here. So hopefully that covers everything. That's everything I could think, guys. I did my best to explain it all as quickly as I could. Uh, I was hoping to make this video like 15 to 20 minutes, but it looks like it's closer to 30 minutes. There's just so much going on at the stronghold. I wanted to make sure that you could just understand it in one go if you have the time to watch the whole video. Uh, so if you were confused about the mechanics of the stronghold, how it works, all that type of stuff, I did my best to explain everything and to, you know, tell you about the things you don't even have unlocked yet and how they're going to work. So hopefully now you know how to upgrade your stronghold, research things, use the workshop, uh, place furniture, decorate, do the quests, unlock other things, send out the dispatches in the station, get the, you know, seals, buy things from the merch. I mean, there's just so much going on here. But I think I covered everything. If you actually watched it straight through, hopefully now you understand it. If this video helped you, consider subscribing to this YouTube. I'm trying right now to get guides out for all these major problems in the game, like how to do things. I know it's kind of sensory overload when you first play this game and get to 50, and there's just so many things. And I'm trying my best to go through and make a guide for everything so that you guys can just go through my guides and watch anything you're confused on, and then you'll know. Uh, so if you're interested in guides or news or patch note information, stuff like that, that's the type of stuff I'm looking to post about Lost Ark right now. So definitely consider subscribing for that. Or if you want to follow me on my other socials, the links are in the description below the first paragraph, Discord, stuff like that. But hopefully now you understand Strongholds. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Now you know everything about the Stronghold. If you watch from beginning to end, you'll get it all. There's a lot of cool stuff here. It's something you need to be doing all the time. You shouldn't ignore it because it takes a long time to get it done. But hopefully now you know everything that you need to know about the Stronghold. You can get started using your Stronghold to the fullest and getting the maximum value out of it in Lost Ark.